Today's video we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. Yeah. About 2,300 calorie banana smoothie. Bananas. A bit of organic sugar. And the dried fruit. The fruit wise chunks. Mmm. So good. So good. Put that over there. Hang one more seat. <laughs> mm. The date today, 12th November, Tuesday, and here in Australia, Adelaide, Australia. Some of my video uploads are like all over the shop because maybe my computer was playing up and I wouldn't import properly, export properly. So, but we're doing a video every day here. Maybe they come up a little bit late, but they're coming up. They're fucking coming up, and they're legit, and they're 100% straight up. Come a question, I've been getting a little bit of an email. Doing it, Ida. You're losing your, like, your original message. What's going on with that? My original message has changed, but it hasn't changed. If people have been watching me for a long time, like, I got into this lifestyle 2002, but it went big in 2001. My life, my message is really pretty much the same the whole time, but a few little shifts here and there. The reason why I go public about what I eat and do all this stuff is definitely a bit of publicity. I want to create awareness. But this is how I do eat. This is I don't eat twenty bananas and then turn off the camera and go. Oh, that's what I normally eat, man. I can go and eat three vegan pizzas or even four vegan pizzas. I can smash down that much rice. No worries. Do I think fruit is the best? Of course it is, man. <laughs> I don't have a shirt. This it here, man. It doesn't say go pizza yourself. It says go fucking fruit yourself. 30bananasaday.com World's biggest ever raw vegan website ever. Ever. Most popular. It's not the Facebook for raw foodists. We created that. Why we create that? Because we want to get the message out there. We promote other people. We don't charge a cent. A lot of people out there, they're out there for themselves, and that's fine, but we're not. We're out there for the community. We don't want a bigger slice of the pie. We want to make the, the pie bigger for everyone. We want to make the fucking watermelon bigger for everyone. We don't want a bigger slice of them. We want to know the fucking watermelon is so fucking huge, it's fucking rolling people over down the street. <laughs> you have to fucking run away or join a watermelon, man. Either way, it's going to get you. That's our goal, man. Always has, always will be. Will we change the name to 30 potatoes a day? No. Because we don't think potatoes are better than fruit. We think potatoes are excellent, but fruit's always the best. Does that make sense? I think it does make sense. If you've been watching my videos for a while, if you've been paying attention, if you calmed up, you'll see it. that is our bottom line message. Fruit's number one. Starch number two. We're not going to tell you don't eat starch because starch makes you fat or whatever because that's, that's not true. It's not true. If it was true, <laughs> China would be obese. We're not going to tell you that you've got to eat 100% raw food diet or nothing because we know... That doesn't really work because what people do is they do 100% and then they just fucking go, give me fucking Denny's, give me fucking beef Taco Bell or whatever. It doesn't work. So we give people a backup plan. People say we're the North Korea of the vegan movement. <laughs> That's hilarious. And it's fucking true in a way. I've never been to North Korea, so I can't really speak, but we like to on our forum is have a real objective message on there. If that makes sense? We want to give people a baseline template, 100% raw food diet, no condiments, no salt, have a baseline to go from, all right? And then you work up from there. You add in other things if you want. You don't need to, but if you want to, you can. But at least you've got that baseline, 100% bananas and lettuce and dates and mangoes and grapes and peaches and malva and celery. Just a real basic, clean, lean, raw, vegan diet. We give people that template and it works. And then, when the real world situation comes in, you go on holiday or you go to your parents' house or whatever, and you don't want to eat that or you can't eat it or whatever, then we give you a backup plan. 
So that's always our goal. We want people to succeed on this lifestyle. We promote this lifestyle more than anyone else. We're not in it for the money, you can tell that, because we promote other people. We're not in it for the fame, because we promote other people. We promote our competition. We don't believe there's competition. We're just all brothers and sisters with the same message, man. We want to get it out there. So we'll call people out, or we'll, you know, but bottom line, we do that because we want to raise the standard, we want to raise the quality and the exposure of this message, the vegan, the fruits thing. We want to get it out there because that's what's going to help change the planet. It's not going to be from being, you know, full on purity or whatever because that's not really sustainable because we don't live in that world. That's the goal. That's the fucking goal, definitely. But for me to tell someone, you've got to live on kale juice and just bananas and lettuce and that's it. And if you get off that, you're a failure. I mean, maybe a couple of 18 year olds can do that for a, a school summer or whatever, but for most of us, <laughs> this just isn't going to be sustainable. So we give people a backup plan. That's the goal. Always have a backup plan. It's like riding a bike. I promote road bikes. If you can't get a road bike, get a hybrid bike. It's, it's just as good. Don't get a BMX. Don't get a fucking a little toy scooter from the kids' shop or whatever if you're an adult. We promote the best plan. That's what we want to do. Does that make sense? I hope it does. If it doesn't, post down below. But can you see what we're going at? Can you see the where we're heading? That's where we're heading. Duran Rider is a sellout. Wouldn't surprise me if he started eating KFC next week as now he eats refined flour and refined sugar. So much for a health guru. That's the, that's, that's the thing, what I call a dietary psychosis. But I can relate to where they're coming from. I can understand that because... I remember when I first got into this lifestyle, I met a friend who was eating dates, and I was thinking, you're eating dates, man, they're steamed, they're frozen, you're fucking soft, you know? I didn't really understand the bigger picture. I didn't really understand the bigger picture, and I had plenty of friends around me who would have that mentality as well, and now they're fucking obese, and they can't even run around the block, or they're just battling fucking eating disorders. And it does make them bad people, but it's a it's an easy pit to fall into. So I can understand where people are coming from when they say things like that, but I'm here on the planet to eat plants. I'm not here on the planet to kill and eat animals or have other people kill them and me eat them. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here as a fucking plant eater. Nothing on life gives me greater joy than serving people by sharing a health and fitness message with them, by showing them how to eat a plant diet, a vegan diet, a fruit diet, high carb for the win. Nothing gives me greater joy than that. It doesn't take me any effort in the morning to get out of bed, jump on the net, answer emails, make videos, troll forums, whatever. It's just, I could do that for fucking 20 hours a day, but my health would decline if I did, so I'd make sure I try and get to bed as early as I can. It's a struggle. Every night is a fucking struggle to get, to turn the laptop down and get off of helping people. It's a fucking constant struggle, but I make sure I have to do it because you've got to look after yourself, otherwise eventually you just fail. Every morning I wake up, I wake up at 5.30 this morning, I, I just like, just call out of bed, and then I just think about the internet, and I just like, Phew. that's my caffeine, man, the fucking internet, helping people, I just Phew. open it up, bam, I don't know, it's just something in me, man, it's not for everyone, but it's for me, I found my life purpose, my life purpose is to help people help themselves and the planet, eating a vegan diet, getting their fitness up without drugs, getting their health back with the vegan diet, that's what I'm here to do, losing the weight with a high carb vegan diet, that's what I'm here to do, 100%, nothing gives me greater joy than doing that, Keeps me up late at night, gets me out of bed fucking before sunrise. So when people say that I'm losing the message or whatever, I can relate. I can understand where they're coming from, but it's not happening, man. Maybe it's changed a bit. I'm giving, I'm giving, we're giving people a backup plan. We're giving people a backup plan. We're saying if you can't get the fruit, have your rice. If you don't like fruit, have your rice, potatoes, vegan pizzas, whatever. We're teaching people objective fundamentals. High carb, low fat, under 10% total calories, as much carbs as you want, 10 grams of carbs per kilo body weight per day, drink enough water so you're pissing clear urine at least 10 times a day, get as much sleep as you want, go to bed between 8 and 9pm, have as much sleep as you want, don't feel guilty, go to bed earlier, get up early, go to bed early, get up early, go to bed early versus go to bed late, get up late, change biorhythms, learn how to train smart, get a power meter on your bike, use a heart monitor, etc, get on Strava, Get off the caffeine, understand what fatigue feels like, get in touch with intuition on your body, get rid of all stimulants. 
on our website we promote that fruit thing just clean your diet right down to the basics the bare bones and then if you want you can add things in later but at least you've got a template you can work out which what works for you when what why how we want to teach people how to think versus what to think i don't want to see oh during what it says this i'm like well, what does your body say what does the watts on your bike say and your power meter when you're doing a fucking interval what does the wattage say what does your watts per kilo say don't worry what your mind says what does the data say when you're pushing yourself at the fucking limit without caffeine, without drugs. That's the beauty, man. When you go for drug-free fitness, no stimulants, no crack hour, no green tea, nothing. Just have that. No animal adrenaline, nothing. No pre-workout powders, no cocaine, nothing. No salbutamol, no modafinil, no synthetic testosterone. Just peel all back. That's when you can work out what fucking works. And that's what we teach. So... I can understand people saying, oh, you know, they're losing it. What's next, you know? Nah, this is... <laughs> we just want to get the audience big. This channel's this channel's had over 40 million views. Just this one channel, Duran Riders, this one channel you're watching now, over 40 million views. Not including all my other channels and the other videos, channels that people have uploaded with my content. People are like, why do you let some people upload your content? They're making like ten, twenty thousand $20,000 a year on your videos. Why do you let people do that, Harley? You're getting like fifty percent. I'm getting nothing from those people other than they're helping get the message out. That's what I'm here for, man. And the money, fuck the money. I'm here for the message. I'm here for the people. If you can't tell that already, I'm gonna tell you. That's what I'm here for, man. Not the fame, not the money. It's the people. And that's why I troll it twenty four fucking seven. And that's why you can upload any more content. You can monetize it. You can make all the fucking money in the world if you want of it. All I ask is you spend it on good things. Spend on good things because every dollar you spend is a vote for what you believe in. 100%. We're going to change the world with the money, man. Use it. Use it wisely. So that's what our message is doing. This is getting it out there bigger and bigger and bigger. Our books are going to come out hopefully by the end of the year. My book, Freely's book, and we're just going to fucking run international with that shit. Just smash it. Just total fucking paradigm shifting. Paradigm shifting. That's what we're going for. Just something's never happened in the diet book industry ever. Never happened in the health industry or fitness industry. These books are going to fucking take off and go viral. Because we understand how social media works now. So that's the goal, man. Is just fucking hit it. Help people. Live our life purpose. And we're still going to be the same people. You see us in the street, talk to us. You got questions, ask us. See us out riding. Come and talk with me, man. I'll fucking talk with you. Even if I ban you off the forum or whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to hate I don't hate anyone. I'll call people out. I'll hold them to a higher standard. But I don't have hate towards anyone at all, ever. 